This helps change their brain and maybe even helps learn something that wouldn't be able to be accomplished through traditional therapy. Imagine walking into your next therapy session and you are given this, a virtual reality headset to help you with your treatment. Believed to be the first private psychology practice to do so in Canada, Joel is using VR to help treat his patients with mental is health that. issues such as depression and anxiety. We often call an anxiety disorder the idea that a fire alarm is going off inside of someone with no fire. And so what we uh, would use this program for is it to encourage people to actually engage with these red bad guys even slower. Oh, okay. So the moment you start to slow down, Kendra, yeah. watch what happens to your body and brain in this same scenario that was so anxiety provoking. Should Joel encourages people to try it out before making any conclusions. Oftentimes we encourage people to uh, hold any kind of judgment until they've had a bit of an experience. It's one of those things, even like some traditional forms of therapy, that you actually have to experience and go through to appreciate some of the benefits. Using a program like this to heighten your, what we call your autonomic nervous system and then to calm it back down, this is, can be the equivalent of up to an hour's worth of therapy. My heart is beating very fast after that simulation. Joel thinks this could be the future of therapy, blurring the lines of reality to help give people's brains a different perspective and make their lives a little easier. In Calgary, Kendra Fowler, City News.